Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. Um, this is question number two from the May June 2021 um, IGCSE 0580 paper 4 variant 2. This question is about graphs of functions and we have here um, some values for the graph y equals 2 times 0 0.5 to the power of x minus 1. This is like an exponential curve where x is in the power uh, in the in the index or the power all right so we've got to fill in the rest of this table there's a couple of parts missing from this now what i would suggest that you do in a question like this is um well first of all the first one is no problem we put zero instead of um x you'll have two times 0 0.5 to the power of zero which is one so it's two times one minus one um which is going to be one we can see that straight away but what I would suggest you do is you write as it is 2 times 0 0.5 to the power of, then you choose a value that they've already given us. For example, let's choose 1.5. Okay, and then you put minus 1. And you see if it gives you the same value that they have here, which is minus 0 0.29 rounded to two decimal places. It's the same. So we know that we've set this up correctly. So just in case you type something in a, in the wrong way always choose a value that you know from the table and then you can then replace that with what you need which as i said first there's a zero as we said that should give us whoops to the power of zero sorry that should give us one because that's two times one because anything to the power of zero is one minus one which is two minus one which is one as you see it gives you one and when you replace it with a two so you replace this with a 2, you end up with minus a half, minus 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5. So there we have um, the table filled in. Now it says um, on the grid, draw the graph of this function for x between minus 1 and 2. So we take the values that we've got from the table. So we've got minus 1 and 3. So x equals negative 1 and y equals 3. That's up here somewhere. That's that point right over there. And then you're going to have negative 0 0.5 and 1.83. So when you do this, by the way, always use a pencil. When you're doing a, a diagram, always use a pencil. If you use a pen and you make a mistake, it just makes everything look so messy when you try to correct it. So always use pencils for diagrams. Very, very important. So negative 5 and 1.83. So let's see. Negative 5 is along this line here. Now 1.83. Okay, 1.83. Now that's 1.5. That means each of these are 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. So that's 0 0.7, 0 0.6783. So it's kind of like just less than halfway between those. So as accurate as you can, that's 1.83. And then it, when x is 0, y is 1. So that's exactly here. And when um, x is 0 0.5, y is 0 0.41. Okay, so... That's 0 0.4, so it's just slightly above 0 0.4, so it's over there. And then when x is 1, y is 0, so it crosses through the x-axis at this point. And then it says when x is 1.5, y is negative 0 0.29. So that's negative, um, that's negative 5 here, 0 0.5, so that's negative 2.9, just before negative 3 negative 0.3 sorry and then you got uh, when x is 2 y is negative 0 0.5 which is over there okay so the curve will look something like this now when you draw the curve when you draw the curve on your graph paper what i would do is i would actually turn this page upside down so my palm is on the inside of how it curves which i can't actually do here very easily well i, I guess i could do if i wanted to um but uh, yeah, so to turn it upside down would make life easier. So here we have the graph with the points plotted. Now what I'm going to do here is I, I'm going to turn this upside down like this. Okay, just to illustrate to you that to have it upside down is a lot easier for you when you are drawing the graph. Okay, because your palm is on the inside of the way it curves. Right? Your palm is on the inside of the curve curvature of the curve so it's a lot easier now i'm going to try and do this the best i can with um that's not started off very well 
something's a bit amiss here, one second. It's gonna... This might... My, uh... This is not very straight here, one second. Let me just sort this out. I'm trying to do the best as I can. It's a bit of... It's not bad. It's not perfect, especially that part of the end there. Let me try and uh, fix that part of the end here. Let me do it again. It's a bit better. Okay, that's not bad. All right. So that is the graph. Now what I'm going to do is I'll just make sure that it sticks to this. So I will um, join them together. Okay. And then when I turn it around, back to it, it should be that's how the graph should look, something like that. Okay, so that's the graph of y equals 2 times 0 0.5 to the power of x minus 1. I turned the page upside down to make it easy to plot, to, to draw the graph. And there we have it. Okay. Then it says, by drawing a suitable line, straight line, solve the equation 2 times 0 0.5 to the power of x plus 2x minus 3.5 equals 0. So what we've got to do is, first of all, we look at what's drawn. What's drawn is y equals 2 times 0 0.5 x to the power of minus 1. So that's what we've drawn. y equals 2 times 0 0.5 to the power of x minus 1. That's what's drawn. Okay. So this is drawn. All right. And we have to solve the equation 2 times 0 0.5 x plus 2 x minus 3.5 equals zero and that's what we have to solve now when we want to um, use a graph to solve an equation graphically then what we have to do is we have to make one side of the equation look like what's drawn so we take the 2 times 0 0.5 to the power of x plus 2x minus 3.5 equals zero and we try to make it look like one side of the equation has to look like this so you can see that the x term isn't here. There's no x term. It's just to the. It's like two times 0 0.5 uh, to the power of x. There's no two x here. So if I take away two x from this side, that two x will disappear and it will look something or someone like that. Therefore, I must take away two x from this side. I must take away two x from this side as well. So if I take away two x from this side, I take away two x from that side to balance out the equation. And this should say negative one. All right, this, this is negative 3.5. How do I make negative 3.5 become negative 1? Well, if I add 2.5 to this, that's going to become negative 1. So I have to add 2.5 to this as well. All right, so um, I have to solve the equation. Um, Okay, yeah, so I have to draw the line y equals negative 2x plus 2.5. They're actually telling us to draw that line. So we have to draw this line on the same graph as we have to draw this line. Okay, we basically draw y equals whatever's on the other side. Okay, so we draw y equals whatever's on the other side. So when you rearrange this equation according to this, you end up with 2 times 0 0.5 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to... Um, minus 2x plus 2.5. So we draw the line y equals negative 2x plus 2.5 on the same graph as this. And then we use that um, where, where that intersects with the graph drawn is going to be the place where uh, they intersect is going to be the solution. Right, we, write down, we write down the x value of that point and that will be the solution. So we've got to draw the line y equals negative 2x plus 2.5. So we need to draw li the line y equals negative 2x plus 2.5 now here we know that the gradient is um, the gradient is negative 2 and the y-intercept is 2.5 so it crosses through the y-axis at, at this point and the gradient is negative 2 so we could say that um, if the gradient is negative 2 for every uh, two 
two units it goes down so that's one two it goes across one space so it goes across one space one space meaning one unit so that would be a gradient of negative two so from 2.5 it goes down one unit two units and across one unit or we can say when x equals zero y equals 2.5 that's that point over there and when y equals zero we can say zero equals minus 2x plus 2.5 so 2x equals 2.5 so x equals 2.5 divided by 2 which is 1.25 so it's going to cross at 1.25 which is here so whichever way you do it you end up with it going through these two points now try to make the line very thin so it's accurate when you draw it i'm going to draw this straight line going through these two points make it cover the whole axis okay that's the line that we're looking for all right it goes down two units and across one unit so it goes through those two points which i've mentioned there or you can do it by looking at the intercepts of the x-axis and the y-axis when x is 0 y is 2.5 when y is 0 x is 1.25 so it goes through those two points whichever way you do it you've got your straight line now where what we're looking for is the place where they intersect the place where they intersect is this point right over there okay and we need the x value of that point where they intersect so again a thin line i'm going to use a thin line here and i'm going to join this point exactly where they intersect okay i'm going to see where it hits the x-axis okay so see where the x-axis let me draw that again sorry what i'll do is i'll zoom in i'll zoom in even more okay that's better makes it a bit clearer so it's somewhere over there okay so what is that point? Well, that's 1.25. Okay, let's see, see how much these are worth. So this is, if that's 1.25, that, that's going to be uh, 1.05, 1.1, 1.15, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1
0 0.5 to the power of x. This is like the original, the original um, equation, which would look something like this, where you'd have an asymptote here, which is the, the x-axis. y equals 0 would be the asymptote. That would be the asymptote of this graph. Now, multiplying it by 2 just causes this to stretch upwards. It doesn't change the asymptote. But taking away 1 from it causes the asymptote to drop down by 1 unit. So the asymptote is now, instead of being um, at, on the x-axis, it goes down by 1 unit. So the asymptote now is going to be at minus 1. So the curve will the asymptote goes down that's it was just 0 .0 0 0.5 so what's going to happen here the asymptote was originally here this is where the asymptote was originally before you have the minus one that's where the asymptote was originally okay if, the, if this was just um, y equals um, 2.0.5x then it would be going through okay this point here but the minus one causes everything to drop by one unit so the asymptote now becomes minus 1. Okay, the minus 1 that you take away from the whole thing causes the asymptote to drop down by 1 unit. So if you're taking away 1 from the whole thing, that goes down 1 unit as well. So this is now the asymptote. This curve now will never touch minus 1. So the line y equals minus 1 is going to be, um, you know, no, it's gonna, it's gonna, the curve's gonna go everything, gonna, gonna get closer and closer to minus one as it goes further on, but never ever touch it. Okay, so we can say that the highest possible value of k for which there are no solutions to this equation is negative one. Okay, so therefore the equation of the asymptotes of the graph is y equals negative one because this curve will never ever reach it it's going to get closer and closer to it without ever touching it so that's where there will be uh, that's the highest value of k you can have why because this equation will have no solution up to that point if you go above that point there will be solutions it will intersect but that's the highest you can go without any solutions which means that y equals negative one is the equation of the asymptote of this curve okay so that's an important point this is to do with kind of transformations of graphs and, um, you know, if you add something to the whole function, it causes everything to go up by that amount. If you take away something from the whole function, it causes everything to go down by that amount. Okay, so if we thought, if we think about 0.5x, all right, it would normally be 0.5 to the power of x, sorry. It would be something that looks like this, which will go through 1. Okay, now multiplying by 2 causes this now to go up through 2. Okay, it causes it to go up through 2. Okay, and then when you take away 1 from it, this whole thing drops down 1 unit, so it's going going to go through 1. Okay, so this 2 causes it to stretch, means causes all the y coordinates to be multiplied by 2. So the asymptote still stays as, as y equals 0, but everything else gets multiplied by 2. I mean, the reason why this doesn't change because you, mu you multiply 0 by 2, it stays at 0. But this 1 multiplied by 2 will become 2. And then, in the end, everything drops down by 1 unit. So all the y values drop down by 1 unit. So it goes down to there. That's why it goes through 1 here, you see. And the asymptote that was here goes down to minus 1. Okay, so that's a little kind of insight into the reason why. y equals minus 1 is the asymptote. Okay, so I hope that's clear. Um, that's kind of something kind of newish, really, these transformations, but something that we should be aware of. Um, so anyway, that concludes this question, which is question number two from May, June 2021, paper four, variant two. Um, other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that should appear in this region over here. Other questions from graphs of functions um, can be found in this playlist. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.